Hi Pisces. Well, welcome to your quantum reading. Just FYI, Mercury retrograde is in fun effect. So I recorded a reading for you. This is a typical thing and the original video, I have no idea what happened. It is gone. So if you guys jump over to Vimeo, you guys will see like an extra Pisces reading. I don't mean to confuse everyone, so I relabeled it as a bonus extended reading for Pisces. It's available if you guys want it, but I totally understand that, you know, you guys would want to see the original video, but it's sitting over there. So there that is in case you guys maybe get confused or you're curious to even check out the other video, but here we go reshooting it. This is for Pisces Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to Cross Watchers. Maybe the message is for you if you're dealing with a Pisces. All my information is in the description box, as you guys know. And let's let's get into this. Maybe that message was just not meant to be. Okay. All right, Mercury. Let's go easy on us. So, actually, this is pretty appropriate because first cards that you have out... You have this Aragonite with Initiation and Fire Element. And then you have Larimer with Perspective and Neptune. Neptune is your ruling planet. And this feels almost like to me over this next week, a little bit of the messages for you Pisces is to kind of come out of this daydreaminess. Okay. Perspectives are going to be kind of an interesting and then you've got this initiation that might take place i feel like it's within you this fire element might might be very key to everything where you're just feeling like initiating something like you're finally getting something taken care of and i don't know what happened something about your perspective could have finally shifted it could have been something recently that you took care of and it could be like kind of almost drastic like something shifted all of a sudden neptune also can be to me it's very spiritual it's very um psychic intuitive that's why it's over pisces your ruling planet is partially neptune but the other side of it is if there was some kind of brain fog or any kind of lethargy that you were dealing with it's like all of a sudden I'll, you'll just come out of that something that you initiated something that you decided to just take action on maybe there's something here where you're getting a different perspective on things okay that's an interesting combo wow this is super weird okay so we have myth and then this diamond how have I read this before? That, I guess, could be connected to the fire element. It feels like, to me, Pisces, you have another person. Some of you guys could have some fire in your chart, but it feels like, to me, you've got a fire energy around you. And it's like, I'm going to see what I pick up on with that symbol, because it might be some different stuff. Let me pull out the QP cards and see if I can get a little bit more in depth with it okay oh i love that card okay all right pisces there's some kind of fire energy i don't know if it's like positive or negative but there's some kind of energy that's around you that's initiating things. I'm not totally sure if you are aware of it or not, but you have this myth card. And I have seen this in general, okay? Whether it's true or not, I, I mean, Neptune, <laughs> I will say this, Pisces. Neptune gets a bad rap, and Pisces in general gets a bad rap for being deceptive, lying, or like kind of covering up truths but this myth is kind of saying you're really in this energy of some kind of thing where 
this is like your reality, but to other people, they think you're like way up in the night or you've completely made something up, you know, it, because whatever you're about, you're uncovering some kind of energy where to other people, it seems like in this world, it's like muggles. You're dealing with the muggle world, Pisces, where your world seems kind of magical or you've uncovered certain things. And there are two sides of this, so I'm not totally sure on the extreme. It could be highly spiritual that you've, like, you decided to explore what seemed to be a myth, but you've uncovered something actually bigger than you expected. And so it's really, like, changing your perspective on the whole world. Not a lot of people are going to understand you or understand where you're coming from, but you kind of know. And then there's this other side of it where I'm just picking up on a particular energy that feels very fiery and activated by the way that you are coming across, okay? Like that you've made something up, that you're not, you know, you're not really telling the truth about something. You have the celestial uterus, which is why I was saying I love that card. It's on the, This is like a uterus, so there's something gestating right now. Whatever that means, it could be a manifestation, it could be some kind of spiritual gift that you have just because of Neptune energy, but you have this whole thing about the uterus is something that's developing and you have to put the right kind of energy into it to get something to happen or you'll see the, the repercussions of it if you fall off back with that. But you know how when a baby is born and they pull out the placenta... So my old friend used to be um, a doula and she passed away very unfortunately. But one day she invited me to come over to her house to look at like the placenta because she used to, I know this is so gross, but the females will, will be fine with it. She used to dehydrate the placenta and put it in capsules so that like the women could replenish their own iron. And the placenta is like this whole energetic thing. It looks like a tree. It's very fascinating energetic thing. And she always explained to me, I don't know why I'm going into this, but she always explained to me that she could tell the diet of the person, the woman that had given birth just by looking at the placenta. And she saw that people that ate a lot of processed foods, the placenta was like very weak and, you know, like fragile and, you know, it didn't have like these large popping veins that are, were really nourished and beautiful. And then she compared it to like the other side of it where someone was taking care of their health properly with nutrition and everything. It was really fascinating to look at the difference. I don't know why I just said all that, but you have constellation here. And then you have this tidal force. Okay. So, um, some of you guys might get energetically recharged possibly by the ocean Okay, that could be a big thing that is important to you at this time, or there's like, there's an energy building, because I always talk about with this tidal force that it's, it's similar to like troughs and crests. It's quantum physics, so this is some kind of tidal energy or tidal force that's been accumulating in some particular way. So, this constellation thing... I don't know if you guys live by the ocean. I'm going to take this in the very literal sense than the quantum physics. I mean, I think energetically you feel very energized by the ocean. Like, it gives you a lot of energy. And something about the stars, the constellation, I'm literally seeing, like, some of you guys, if you live by the ocean or something about the waves of water combined with just looking up at the stars there could be something where you just need a moment to just be in stillness with nature it might be the thing that's going to energize you correctly so that you nurture yourself in the way that you need at this time maybe you'll be feeling some sensitivities like a little bit more Oh, it's probably connected to the solar eclipse that's coming in. I wouldn't be surprised at all if that's what it's about. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, you're hard at work at something. You've also got the King of Cups. That can totally be you. You are super focused on something here. Or you... 
these are a few too many. I'm going to get a little bit more specific. Ooh, Seven of Cups. Yeah, I think you're pulling out of that, though. If you were procrastinating on something, not anymore. Something's got you moving. So there it was. So your main energy, you have this King of Cups at the top, which like I said, technically that's supposed to be you, but you could also be dealing with another water sign. And you're in this Eight of Pentacles mode where you're just kind of being super resourceful and working with what you have right now and trying to like bloom where you're planted. Recently, you were in this fog or caught in illusion. You could have been fantasizing about something or daydreaming a lot. But this is totally different. Something has got you moving. And I'm not totally sure what it was. Because you have this two of pentacles where you're kind of like just taking care of a lot. You're back and forth juggling some things, taking care of some things. And look at you. Do you know what this feels like? This feels exactly to me like a test or a homework assignment that's due. And you put it off and you put it off until the very last moment and then boom, this is when you pull out something super amazing and you like you accomplish it or you get the victory, you know? This is literally what <laughs> the message is showing me. Oh, is that what they're doing? Okay. So you have the 10 of swords right there. That's what I think is motivating you because you have Four of Swords right above that. You have in your mind the Four of Wands. Okay, love that. Because you're like... Some of you guys could be celebrating something. Or you're just feeling really happy or energized. Maybe you just need to take some time to celebrate yourself. Or what you've accomplished. Because I think you're going to overcome some challenge big time. And then you've got the Two of Wands. Okay. So, here's, here, here's what I'm seeing. Okay, Pisces, I can't get away from that original message where it feels almost like that you, you put something off until the last minute, like, and, but you're, you are like working under pressure right here and you accomplish it. Whatever it is that you needed to get done, you're literally getting a victory over it. <laughs> like you, you might receive a bunch of attention. It's like you're finally getting something completed even though it might feel kind of chaotic because you have to juggle quite a few things all at the same time. But there's like this one thing that you're, it's like close to being finished. That's what this Eight of Pentacles is showing. It's like there's something that is partially finished or, you know, it's not like quite complete. But you are going into that and completing that process. There's other, There's like these choices that you have to make as well. Also, some of you guys, I'm seeing something about, like, I don't know if it's negotiations or things of that sort, but it's saying you're, you are getting a lot of recognition, just FYI. There's a lot of attention on you in some particular reason, like, there's, you're just standing out in some particular way, and you've got this Ten of Swords, which I think is like a double-sided energy, because on one side... There's an energy here that wants to, but it already is completed. So some of you guys with the Mercury retrograde, it's possible that could be coming back around. But you might have felt betrayed by some energy, but it, you keep coming up. It's almost like the Energizer Bunny. You just keep going and going and going and you just you have this ability it's something about your path and something might be clicking for you over this next week just with this combination of things you might be looking back to your past and realizing that there were certain things that you had developed in this lifetime and it's it's actually helping you right now deal with some kind of darker energy or someone that had hurt you or betrayed you um, that energy, I know this sounds like super negative, but just because of the place that this person is in, whatever trauma they've endured, it's kind of like they, they had intended that you would not get up. Okay. 
they thought that you weren't going to move after this, but you keep moving and you might need to, something popped up recently where I feel like you started to recognize where your boundaries were a little weak or where something is still able to enter into your reality. But this is like, it, this four of swords is kind of connected to the celestial uterus because it's kind of saying now you're much more gentle with your mind. You know, you're much more like cautious with it or protective of it because the four of swords is all about taking a break from a particular thing where it harms you. Like it literally does some kind of harm. Okay. And that's where I kind of like this because there is some weird kind of thing going on with you where you're even able to just kind of laugh or celebrate even a really challenging energy that you're dealing with. You're very like lighthearted or just happy. And that's really changing. That in and of itself is the whole alchemizing the whole situation, just your mindset. Because even though something on the side right here feels pretty painful, you're still just going, you know? You're still showing up and doing exactly what you love or finishing these projects or, you know, developing skills. Some of you guys could be working on some kind of particular skill right here. I would highly recommend putting all your energy toward this thing that makes you shine like it's it's your actual god-given talent that was given to you for this particular moment in time and that's what i think is going to be super fascinating that you connect to these dots in your lifetime and realize like maybe there are things that you didn't think were that big of a deal when you were a child but now you're bringing them back at this time like skills Things that you hadn't done in a really long time, they would be very beneficial for you to bring in right now because it will help you to kind of move through this energy. And like I talked about, alchemize. Because you got this title force, which I think is kind of interesting. Isn't it interesting that you have the King of Cups? See how there's like this water in the background? Whatever, I, I almost feel like this is an intuitive thing that's going on with you, Pisces, where you energetically you can just feel the magnitude of this wave of someone's emotions i do want to say that's what it is <laughs> you do have this fire energy which is initiation i feel like you initiated something or you did something and it's caused this whole butterfly effect or this triggering like this vibration that just rolled out now it it caused something to effect like go into effect and do you know what I'm seeing here too if if there was a person here that kind of harmed you Pisces I'm seeing something that you did or this victory here um it's it's almost like there's a person that feels wounded by it but it's the way that you are putting a finality on a situation like it's your way of saying like this is done you know no more enough and that's kind of what I'm seeing here is that you're kind of making it known that there's a particular energy in your life that will never be repeated in the way that you're doing it it's not like some kind of revengeful thing I mean I hope not but revenge is a way it's also a natural part of human evolution especially if your boundaries were really violated you know your anger i think feeling acceptance for those emotions is very key to moving up in emotional vibration but i'm seeing kind of something fascinating there where you're making it very clear that th this is like a final thing but it's also through like, it's just very known. You kind of subtly put some kind of message out there that, like, something is officially finished. Very interesting. Let me dive. And you have this Two of Wands, which looks kind of like that you've got something else that you're looking out for or you're making some plans about. This looks kind of exciting. And that might be the thing that's kind of pulling you in a different direction because you've got this 
variants of vibrations that are coming in one that you know feels very painful but there was another energy that almost the universe presented to you to help you to see like see the difference between this pain and the passion or excitement of another thing that could come into your reality at this time so this part feels really exciting it feels almost interconnected with this constellation card like almost connecting the dots it's something kind of interesting. I feel like that's energetically what it was meant to do. It was meant to kind of spark your interest or get you to kind of initiate completions at this time. Okay. Anyway, Pisces, let me dive into the extended. I'll see whatever else wants to come out. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see it over there. But Pisces, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in your next reading. Take care.